Hello, I want to share a story with you, and I wonder if um, maybe I'm being the victim of some sort of hacking uh, process, or maybe I'm just picking up something which is happening routinely around the country, and perhaps we need to flag it up. Um, so it may come across as whingy on my part. I, it's not intended to. Um, but a few weeks ago, I was telephoned uh, well, I wasn't telephoned. I received uh, quite an aggressive message from my bank saying that I hadn't picked up the phone and uh, that somebody was uh, calling me um, to audit my account. To uh, uh, And in the end, when I finally got in touch with this person, it, the phone call, I think, occurred on a Friday. So I didn't get in touch with them until the Monday. Um, it was about a transaction that I had made... Uh, that in fact hadn't gone through over a year ago. Extraordinary. And uh, this was going to effectively suspend my account. It was, go it was going to compromise my account because they hadn't got information, um, telephone numbers or something. In the end, when we went through it all, they'd got everything they needed. And it was a pointless telephone call, but I was worried that they were able to leave a message on my phone without the phone ringing. And there is, a, there is a way to do that. It seems very dodgy. The bank denied that it has done it. And today I found that um, a debit card payment, which should have gone through, didn't. And, uh, um, and there, were, there, there, were, there were some issues. I called up uh, PayPal. Uh, they couldn't make it go through. I had to pay with a different card. And then I called up my bank and they said, oh, your card has been flagged for fraud. And this happened today at one o'clock when you attempted to pay. Well, I didn't attempt to pay. Um, it was a, an automatic process. Um, I had a very unpleasant conversation with an, a bank agent who, was then, who then transferred me. The whole thing took over an hour to the fraud department where I had an interesting conversation with a fraud manager and you are ended up you end up feeling sort of this small um and again we established that this was a banking error not mine and and yet i was made to feel that this was something i had to i had to deal with it was my responsibility that the bank had made an error yet again a second time um and i'm afraid after all that bank bureaucracy and after all the aggression, I feel exhausted. <laughs> it's extraordinary. One hour of bank nonsense that does me in for the rest of the day. And it's the, it's the attitude of these people. And I, I, I think they, uh, when, 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 when I question their attitude and wondered why, they weren't starting their conversations with an apology, having established that it was their mistake. Um, they, they, they got really quite shirty. We have lost the idea that the bank is a service industry. The bank has become a, a, a sort of anonymized bully uh, that simply chooses people at random to victimize. And I don't feel that my money is safe. I don't have very much. I certainly don't feel that I'm being well looked after. Uh, I, I would love to know if my experience is shared by you and if you have these random events. Two in less than a month is too many. These random events which take up an hour or two of the day and are deeply stressful and are the result of errors in the system. Uh, as I say, am I just unlucky? Uh, am I... Is this part of a process that other people are sharing? Or am I just um, <laughs> being attacked by hackers, which is sort of raising my profile in some way? I have no idea. I have no idea. And I would greatly welcome your thoughts on this.